And from here, we're going to go into something called circling hands. So circling hands looks like this. So what we're doing is we're going to come up on the balls of our feet, not our toes, and then sink into our heels. So it's the balls of the feet, and then sink into the heels. Balls of the feet, sink into the heels. So when we come up on the balls of the feet, we're pressing down on an acupressure point that brings our energy up. And when we press on our heels, it brings our energy down. Now we're going to take a step out, I'll back up, a step out, and we're going to shift our weight to our front leg, and then our back, our front toe comes up. So we're shifting all the way to the front leg, and then all the way to the back. And now we're going to reverse direction. And then on the other side. Not a huge step, shifting weight. It's very good for balance, shifting weight. And then we're going to reverse direction. We're going to do something called horizontal circling hands right now. So we're coming up on the balls of the feet and then sinking into the heels. So horizontal circling hands massages all your internal organs. And then we're gonna reverse direction. And then once again, we're gonna step out, a diagonal step out, and we're gonna shift weight. First direction. The other foot steps out. So these movements also are calming your nervous system. It's like a moving meditation. And then now reverse direction.
where you try doing this one for a couple minutes. And then you're going to turn it to the side. And back to center. And then turn it to the side. Good. So let's try inhaling and then exhale. And inhaling and exhaling. The next one is gathering clouds to make a pillow. We're arching, then we round tuck your chin, come back up and arch, and then I want you to imagine that you're smoothing some old man's beard while you're looking over your shoulder, and then gather clouds to make a pillow, round, come back up and arch, and then smooth this old man's beard. 
shoulder you look over. So I like to do two on each side.
So think about opening up all those vertebrae in your body. And now we're going to condense them. And now we're going to open them up. And then we're going to condense them. And then we're going to open them. And we're going to condense them. So one more time. This is an opening. This is a closing. This is an opening. This is a closing. This is an opening. And this is a closing. Now, for my students that have been with me for a while, we're doing something called Wuhan Chibang, 18 forms. Um, my beginning class is up to like form 12, and my intermediate class has learned all 18 forms. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I want them to practice it so they don't forget it. And then those of you that are new to Qigong, just go ahead and try to follow along, along the best you can. So our feet are shoulder width apart, and we're in prayer. Then our hands are going to float down to our side. And we're going to bring our arms up shoulder height. We're going to slap down. We're going to shorten our thumbs, and that's what shortening your thumbs looks like. We're going to push on the sides of our body. Our thumbs go on our armpits, and we're going to lean forward. We're going to circle and make a fist. And our hands and our forearms are nice and tight, elbows behind. Then we're going to come out and punch. Then once again, our elbows go behind. Now, our hands are going to open up and we're going to relax and exhale. Turn your palms. This is a stretch. Then your elbows face the ground. And we're going to come on up on our toes like we're peeking over a fence. We're going to drop our heels. Come on down. Circle your hands saying, H A. Middle fingers touch, palms are up, you're going to turn, and you might be here, eventually you're going to be here, and then you're going to open up your hands, you're going to come up on your toes, and your heels come down. The next movement, you're going to take a step out into mountain stance, and you're going to inhale, and then you're going to exhale, coming on into prayer. Forearms touch, open palms, breathe in the energy, look left, look right. Make these two birds beaks, come behind, and we're going to pierce. Then our palms are going to come up, we're going to make two fists, come on your toes and exhale. And we're going to do that again. This time we're going to shut off H-O. We're going to circle, you're going to come on up, forearms touch, inhale, look left, look right. Birds beat, come behind, and we're going to lift a cauldron, which is a giant bowl. Bring your left leg in, we're going to come on our toes, heels down. Next one's called planting flowers, right to left, come up, and exhale. That's a block. Remember, Qigong and Tai Chi has a lot of martial arts in it. So we're going to block. We're going to turn. And we're going to circle. You're going to make two fists. You're going to watch the fist coming up because we're working on our mid spine. Watch the fist coming up. You're going to pivot. And we're going to do a hamstring stretch. And then on the other side, hamstring stretch. You're going to come down your leg, leaning with the left hand, bend your knee, look through this triangle. Pivot, leaning with the right, bend your knee, look through the triangle. Then pivot, and your hands are on your chin. We're going to take a step back with the right, and push. Make two fists, come across. Left fist on top, come out. Now we're going to push that way, step forward. 
Make two fists. Right fist on top. Bring that back leg out. Make an A, exhale. Back leg out, A, exhale. Palms up, giant step back, back into prayer. You're gonna make two fists. Open this hand, this palm is short in this thumb. You're gonna circle around the lower dantian, bend the heart, then shoot up past the third eye forehead. Make a fist and roll up. Other side, open hand, short in thumb. Lower dantian, heart, shoot past the third eye. Make a fist and roll up. This is called two guns. We've got two guns. Come on out, cross. Out, cross, out, cross, out. Now we're going to shorten up our feet and then our palm is going to come up, flatten, starting with the pinky, shut all the fingers, come on down, circle in, flatten your palm to the ground, turn it up, and then watch that hand. Come on out. This time, right leg is in front, left hand is in front. Come on up. Open your hand. Starting with the pinky, shut all the fingers. Come on down. Circle in. Flatten to the floor. Up. Watch that hand. Palms open. Step back. Back into prayer. We're going to cross. Make these bird's beats, touch your heel down, and then gently press. Open up, cross, heel, gently press. Pivot to the center and come on into prayer. Forearms touch, inhale, look left, look right. Bird's beat, come behind, and we're going to come right back into prayer. We're going to lift our heart and tuck our pelvis, and then we're going to slide down the mountain. Make two fists, pivot in, come on down your leg, lean back, hammer down. Come on down, lean back, hammer down, come back into prayer. We're going to open up. I want you to think about picking up all your worries and we're going to throw them down. Then we're going to slap on our thighs and take a step back. You're going to make a fist in the hole of your shoulder. Then open your palm and it's like you're going into a cookie jar and grabbing a cookie, make a fist, come back out, the hole of your shoulder. Come back and then we're going to come out and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to make a fist we're going to go into the jar, make a fist, come on out, make a fist, and come on in. So that's nine forms. Number ten, we make a fist and a hook, and we're going to strike with this hook. Then this is called yin-yang, pushing up heaven, push down earth, and then pivot, condense the ball, and wiggle up. And then it's a fist and a hook. Strike with a hook. Yin yang. Pivot. Condense the ball. Wiggle up. We're going to shift weight. Hands on your shoulder, forehead. Strike. And then on the other side, shoulder, forehead. Strike. Right hand comes around and your wrists are glued together. And you're going to, this is called dragon, swings his tail. Pop up. Pigeon toe in. We're going to make two hooks. You're going to pivot your foot, pick up that right foot, and strike. And then you're going to pivot to the other side. Two hooks. Pivot, left foot up, strike. Come on back. You're going to bring your knee up just part way, and then we're going to strike. Cross over. Other side. 
that back. And then on the other side, and then come back in. Next one's called Tiger. Stepping out, these are your tiger claws. Exhale. Come behind by your kidneys, and then your hands go on your thighs. We come down, we come up, we arch, round, jump feet together, and then your hands go behind you. Jump feet up, two exhales with a growl. <laughs> hands go lippy, they go inside, jump feet together, right hand leads. We're gonna strike with hand and foot. Both hands come over, strike. We're gonna lean back, and it's like you're gonna give a hug, and you come back. Other side, like you're gonna give a hug, come on back, come on in. This one's called Father and Son Salute. Make a fist, cross, and then we're gonna salute and come in. Hide your fist, cross, your thumb goes right into this hole by your um, other thumb, and then you come on in. This time, your right leg's going to cross, you're going to spin, strike, right wrist on top, giant step back, tie a sash. This time, the left foot goes across, spin, strike, left wrist on top, this time you got your hands on your hips. We're gonna arch, we're gonna look down. We're gonna step forward. We're not gonna go to 90 degrees like that one time. We're gonna go forward, open palm, come on down. And then on the other side, open palm, come down. We're gonna turn, we're gonna come on up, left hand on top, we're gonna strike. And we're going to come across, right foot, right knee up, come up, and strike. Now we've got what's called dragon's claw. We're going to come down, so your hands look like this. You're going to come up, you're going to step, push, right wrist on top, come on back, tie the sash. Other side, come up, push, left wrist on top, come on back. Tie the sash. You're going to step out. These are sword fingers. You're going to come behind, go through, jump feet together. You're going to go back, and then you're going to come by the kidneys, and you're going to push. Then on the other side, come back by the kidneys, push. You're going to draw the bow, pivot. This is called fudging and then you're gonna come in. You're gonna inhale, and then you're gonna bring your, your finger thumbs to your third eye, forehead, inhale. Then come down to your heart, and inhale. And then make a triangle of your lower dantian, and inhale. And then you're gonna come into prayer. And then we're gonna bow. So that's Luhan Qigong. Um, there's a lot to it, um, but, I, but we go very, very slow in class, but people pick it right up. And you can see there's a lot of balance in there. And Qigong has a lot of balance exercise in it. Uh, I don't have time to go through those with you, but if you take my class, you're going to get so good at balance. Um, our intermediate class is standing on one leg for a minute now. Um, so you're going to get really, really good at balance. And so I'm just hoping that you'll come and and give us a try, give Chigong a try, and try working out with this video. Um, you can always get a hold of me, Nancy Mayhew. Um, anybody wants to get a hold of me if they got any questions about Chigong or, or when I'm gonna be back. Um, so thank you so much, guys. Thanks, stay well.